Hello. Hey. Um, so we wanted to make a Christmas decoration for our tree. And so we went ahead and made a Mickey Mouse tree topper. So you're gonna see how we made that in this video. Um, and I hope you guys like it. Um, we'll show the final product at the end of the video. But basically what we've done is we've taken um, some craft foam and made a Mickey Mouse head using some black spray paint and adhesive and some glitter. And we've put a Mickey Mouse, or I'm sorry, a Santa hat. It is mm -hmm. now a Mickey Mouse hat though yes. because it is on Mickey Mouse. Yes. And uh, we have put that on our tree now. So hopefully you'll like it. First off, there was no we. It was Heather. So yeah, this was I really just, mine. I just cheered her on. So. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, so anyways, just check out this video and let us know what you think below. And if you don't care, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe. Yep. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Okay. To make our Mickey Mouse tree topper, I have a 9-inch foam ball, two 5-inch foam ball, uh some deco mesh that's just to decorate the tree with glue sticks glue gun a santa claus hat beasley just she has to be here with us um spray adhesive and black spray paint some black glitter these are santa boots and they are actually considered a plastic tree base or i'm sorry santa boot base and we got those on amazon and then these are some mickey mouse gloves these are actually for a kid's costume but we got those on amazon as well and then just some wooden dowel rods okay so what we've done is um we've taken the dowel rods and we've put just like a little bit of glue uh, hot glue in to make sure they stuck and um, rigged up our little sawhorse <laughs> to be a dowel rod holder and I'm just going to start spray painting these black. Okay and now we're going to look at this in fast motion but I've taken the foam ball and covered it with black spray paint uh, that didn't actually make it on the camera so I apologize for that, but we just basically spray painted it. You can see there that there was a few little white spots left over, so could have went over it with a second coat. But after we added the black glitter to it, you couldn't even see those spots. It ended up covering pretty well. So you could use um, black spray paint if you can find it with black glitter already in it. But for us, we weren't able to do that. Everything that we found was black spray paint, but had silver glitter in it. And I was afraid it would give it more of a silver cast opposed to the black color that we were wanting. So we ended up using black spray paint, used spray adhesive, and used a pound or bought a pound of black glitter. We ended up only using about half the jar, so you could definitely go smaller on those jars. But we just kept going through and covering uh, the foam with spray adhesive, doing a layer of glitter. And then where needed, I would just cover again with another layer of spray adhesive and then glitter again. And once I had the glitter coverage that I wanted on the ball, I ended up just doing another coat of spray adhesive on the top to help lock in some of the glitter. Now, I will tell you that no matter what you do on this, this is a lot of glitter and it does come back off of the ball. So just be careful wherever you're going to be actually manipulating, putting the Mickey head together because the glitter does come off. Um, just, you know, like you would expect any kind of other glitter craft to. So it can get a little, little messy. We used our coffee table, which you'll see here in a minute, and... There was all kinds of black glitter all over it when we were done. Um, but overall, this ended up being a very easy process to spray paint, spray adhesive, and glitter. Okay, so what I've done is that I'm taking the Santa hat. Ignore Beasley back there. The Santa hat. And I've cut it here to just make it fit. And I'm going to take some a glue gun and attach it to the mickey head 
And then I'm gonna take these, the ears, and stick through. And so I'll come back kind of more with a finished picture of what that looks like afterwards. complete and so now I'm just going to take these hands I've put just some brown paper in there you can use whatever for filler and dowel rods and I'm going to use hot glue to attach those and then I just have these little boots and same thing I'm going to attach them with hot glue okay so now I have these all assembled and now I just have to place them on the tree and here is the final product you can see we placed the Mickey Mouse head at top. I used zip ties to attach it to the base of the tree. And then we used deco mesh to make a bow to hide the dowel rod and that connector between the tree and the Mickey Mouse head. And then just used the dowel rods that were in the Mickey Mouse hands and feet um, to stick inside the tree. And that's it guys. So let us know what you think below.